SEGA! Hello everyone, and welcome to Valkyria Chronicles. Am I saying that right? Valkyria. I'm gonna say so. Valkyria. If that's wrong, let me know in the section comment uh, in the comment section below. Um, this was apparently made by Sega, which is crazy to think about. I don't remember the last time I played a Sega game other than Sonic. Um, that was Sonic, right? I'm gonna be embarrassed if I'm wrong. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, this is actually uh, Valkyria uh, Chronicles Remastered for the PS4, and uh, it's supposed to be a really amazing game uh, that I never actually played. So we're gonna get into it. Let's do it. It's supposedly, you know, it's got some good story. It takes place kind of during a war or something. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their survival. And its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. Ooh. I love the art style. This reminds me of Radiata Stories. Have you played that? With its vast so military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue. Gallia to arms. Oh wow, that's a lot of text. Good thing it's in a foreign language we don't have to read. Haha. <laughs> a new episode has been added. Whatever the frick that means. Whoa. Okay, hold on. So. Wait, okay, so that's the thing I think we just watched, right? So now I gotta click on this. What's this button do? Chapter select, tab select, save. I mean, that'd be good. Just in case I mess up. Oh, I love the button noises. They're so good. Ah, oh, they're so good. <laughs> this reminds, was this originally released for PlayStation 2? Cause it reminds me a lot of PlayStation 2 games. Okay, view this episode. March, 1935 outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? your hands in the air slowly well that was unexpected <laughs> haven't seen you around before what's your name um uh, my name's welkin and you are the one with the gun we're with the brule town watch i'm alicia alicia melchiot so i'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there Imperial spies are in the area. Uh, 
this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Well, that escalated quickly. I just wanted to sketch some fish. <sighs> Thanks, fish. Oh, that's like it's the fish's fault. They were just, you know, being all cute and swimming upstream. <laughs> okay, wait. So when do I get a play? <laughs> this, I mean, I realize this is all prologue, so it's kind of showing me what's going on in the background, but come on. The Imperial attack. Oh, no. And also, why would it break it up? That doesn't make sense to me. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? See, he's innocent. I have to say, they're really very good. Then let him go. You. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. Is this how you pick up all your men? Jeez. <laughs> Welks? Is that you? Isara. Oh. Your timing is perfect. It'd be nice if they said the name before what the subtitles. Into now, just so I could remember their names better. Wait. Because I'm gonna forget all their names. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. I'm not gonna Do remember you know that. Supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Oh <laughs> snap. Huh? I She's apologize. totally assumed that. But I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! Why are there two random troops? Oh crap, grenade run! Wow. This got messed up real fast. I guess it is war. And what is it good for? Valkyria. <laughs> Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. S scouts don't open fire, they watch. What the frick? Okay, now. Okay, about saving the game, I already know. I learned. Saving is a good idea before and after the combat OP. Anything can happen out there. Okay, I'll save real fast again. Okay, so now we're at. Yeah, encounter at Brawl. Good. This will teach me all about shooting and killing okay, and stuff. Okay, here's the plan. Okay. We got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brawl. Uh, we'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. I like how it's all tactical with arrows and stuff. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. It's super simple. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them uh, one at a time, nice and easy. Um, okay, so victory, all enemies are dead. Failure if Welkin, Alicia, or 20 turns pass. Okay. Let's Great. get started. Just stay calm and get it done. When I was looking up for a review to this game, there was one thing that the person said that was a negative about it. And it was that um, it doesn't really tell you at all, but um, you get more experience and the game overall the ranking system i guess that uses for your battles it, it's better if you finish the battles as quickly as possible which is going to be really hard when you haven't played it before obviously because you're not going to know how to beat it as fast as possible That's three too many. but Stay we'll shot. try to finish this quickly that way i get the most experience Listen a second. there's something i should explain Okay, command points. Uh, when combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred to as command mode. Here, you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on their position respective to the enemy, then press the X button. 
Doing so uses up uh, one of the command points to, uh, CP displayed at the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander uh, and represent the number of times you can give instructions to uh, your units per each player phase. In this battle, you have three CP, so you can issue instructions to your units up to three times. Let's try moving a unit now. Okay, great, fantastic. Um, how do I see, can I see what their equipment is at all? No? Who's this? Is this an enemy? This is an enemy, yes. Okay, so we have three people. We have the town watchman, one of them, and then these people. The town watchman isn't as strong, but obviously we're gonna move him in since he's town watch, uh, and he should die if anybody. <laughs> Use CP to select a unit in command mode and you'll be plunged into action mode. Here you can freely move the unit you select around the field. As you move around in action mode, the action points gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. This represents that unit's mobility. Once it reaches zero, the unit will be unable to move any further. Keeping an eye on the unit's remaining AP while they are in motion is critical to keeping them safe. Ah, oh, it's sort of like Dungeons and Dragons, but like with war. <laughs> For now, use his left stick to move the unit near the sandbags. I can do that. I can do that, do that. And he's got a rifle. That's nice. Okay. About attacking. Press the R1 button to enter target mode. There the unit will prepare to attack with a currently selected weapon. Use the left stick to move the crosshairs onto an enemy or the L or R1 buttons to snap between targets. Enemies will not attack while you are in target mode, so take your time to aim well before pressing X to fire. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it's best to center on the entire target. Uh, Ooh, pardon me. Short, shots to the head or other weak points will result in greater damage, just like real life. A unit can only attack from target mode uh, up to once per turn, so t it's just like Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> if the target survives your attack, they may then launch a counterattack. A damaged unit may only have the HP to survive the enemy's counter, so be careful when planning your attack. Okay, can I get like right behind these? There we go, crouch, and then target mode. Noise. Okay. And I just hit X. Plop, plop. Oh, it says Rada when it fires for the sound effects. Nice. <laughs> Suck it. That's right. Town Watchman. He's awesome. About ending actions. A unit with zero remaini remaining AP that has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further. Uh, press cancel. Uh, this one was on command mode. Right there. Okay, you can press cancel in a unit's action even they have not attacked and still have AP. Cool. Okay, that sounds great. Hey, he's still getting attacked. That's not cool. Is he gonna keep getting attacked? What the frick? That's not cool. <laughs> he just continuously keep sh kept shooting at him. That's not that's not nice. I gotta remember to hit like exit immediately. Okay, okay, Welkin. We it's time go. to prove yourself to be a man. I'm getting in there. I'm gonna show him who's boss. Oh, he's shooting at me. Ho 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 ho. Hey, like that. No. I don't want to cancel. I don't crouch. There we go. And now I'll shoot at him. I gotta be like quick about my actions, I guess. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Blah! Right in the face! Very nice. Very nice. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's keep moving out uh, to wherever. Okay, the next enemy is that way and that way. So, about using cover. <clears throat> There's a lot more enemies than I thought there was. When standing near sandbags, the command crouch will appear press the X. Yeah, I already know about that. Uh, units are harder to target, take less damage, and are immune to headshot critical damage. Oh, nice. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by enemy attacks will be easier to hit and could take significantly more damage. Fence carefully, moving from cover to cover, and always try to end your action safely hidden from harm. Doing so should keep your troop alive long enough to secure victory for Galia. I may have done wrong here. I may have done wrong. Uh, can I take cover behind a rock? I bet I could, you know? Take, take cover? It won't let me. It won't let me take cover behind this rock, unfortunately. And I've already used that action. Um, I mean, I would imagine I'd be harder to hit behind this rock, even though it won't let me actually do it. So I'll just end my turn. I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> He's got a decent amount of HP after all. Um, and I can't just reuse him, can I? Can I do that? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy! Alright, Alicia. Let's get in there. All of you have a Galleon 1. 
whatever that means and I'm not entirely sure what it means but that's cool regardless um oh crap <laughs> and crouch okay excellent and now we'll shoot at this dude because he's a little butthole little freaking yes and die yeah. nice man I'm so good <laughs> I am so good um okay we'll intern there Okay, about the end phase, when your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. One player enemy phase pair constitutes a single turn. The fewer turns you complete in a mission and more cash and experience you'll- Oh, it does tell you, okay. Well, then they lied to me in the review. Um, but being too hasty can lead to unnecessary risk. The key is to find a challenging balance. I mean, that's not the greatest game concept in terms of like, what if you just, you went through an entire thing and nobody died, you know? Just saying. Okay, so this isn't gonna end well for her. Oh, she shot at it. Ow, ow, ow. That didn't feel good. Please hit. Yeah, please hit. And you didn't really. He's got a good amount of HP, that one. Enemy moving. Player face. Oh, right, nice. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. CP something, for instance, something. Uh, wait, a pool of three CP can be used to move one unit three times in a row. Perfect for cutting into enemy lines or hurrying past dangerous terrain. That said, people get tired. They'll start each consecutive action with fewer AP than last, so keep that in mind. If you use the cancel button to end your phase uh, with CP still remaining, those CP will be carried over to the next turn. CP are a precious resource. How you choose to manage them will decide your fate. Nice. I love strategy. Um, I mean, I played that one game. I can't remember what it's called, but I played... I played this one game, right? Um, it's a Final Fantasy, a Final Fantasy Tactics, actually, is I think exactly what it's, what it's called. Uh, no, I want you to shoot at him. There we go. Um, and that game, I enjoyed up till, like, I got halfway through the game because I kept dying. It was really irritating. Are you going to be able to hit him from here? You better. No! Yay! Double headshot! I feel like I'm controlling the freaking battle flow. Operation complete. I don't see any more of them. Well, good. I finished in like I got a B rank, which I don't know how you get an A rank, but there you go. I got 200 experience and 500 DCT. I think is what that is. I think so. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> two turns wasn't that bad. A new episode has been added. All right. Well. I thought that was pretty cool, and the story is interesting so far, you know, I mean, we haven't really got too much into it, but the characters seem likable. So, with that, I'm going to end this episode here and pick up uh, on the next one right here. So thank you very much for watching, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below on what you thought of this episode, and as always, remember to keep the flame alive. Now I've broken the rules, I'm not the one to be. Tired, cold, shaking and blue She's on the phone to me